Hello everybody, um, this is Patch Lever 3423 and I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to make salt blocks for your horses. You'll just need like clay. I got this clay and I've used it before so it's just bagged up. Ugh, trying to get all of it out. Okay, number one, you won't need glue. <laughs> um, this is the clay that like takes a long, long time to dry. Um, and it looks really cool. Today we're going to make like a creamish color. Brown, light brown, green color. Salt block, but you can make any color you want. There. And I am doing it on my bed, so I just put some pieces of paper down so I wouldn't get it on my bed. And this is to like cut it, but I don't really ever use that for cutting the clay. Um, going to pull a, as you can see they're like in cubes, um, and you're going to pull one cube out, excuse me for one this might need a knife, okay, I'm just going to like, draw where I'm going to be cutting, I couldn't see any of that. And then going to push it out way far. And sorry, pause. Oh, here we go. You're going to go deep into there. Okay. Now, sorry that it's taking so long. I haven't used this kind of clay in a long time. Like this color. So, like. And you want to get. Yeah. A little chunk of it. And I, like, dip. I usually dip mine in warm. Like, dip my clay in warm water before I use it. Just to get it a little bit tender and moist. Um, anyways, this is just. A little. Oops. Piece of, like. This is just like a little ball. Um, I would say not too big, not too small, like like it, it could fit in the palm of your hand like that. Um, that's like it's smushed out. So then I would roll it up into a ball. It doesn't like have to be a perfect ball. Um. And I do have a little secret. Um, after I'm done rolling it in the ball, I mean, I get, I like put this brown and I just get a big chunk of it and just roll it around on here. Just get it kind of brown. You can see there's like little chunks of brown everywhere and then I get a little piece of brown. And this clay doesn't dry very fast so you don't have to worry about it putting it back up and everything. And then I just smushed the piece of brown in there and twist it around. Okay, then make your circle once more. Okay. So I'm just making this circle a little bit nicer. Okay, and then just gonna make side straight. Um, this pro this probably isn't going to be very good because I'm like not looking at the cause I'm looking at the um, camera screen like not the um, thing that I'm working on. But I got a new camera and it's probably going to be my last video on this on my iPod because this stuff on this iPod like skips a ton. And then I like kind of like get the knife just like make like little markings in it and dents and scrape off some and some holes and all sorts of stuff. Um, okay. 
and then you have your completed salt block. Um, um, it looks quite realistic. Um, I don't have a brighter horse up here at the moment, but I'll show you what it looks like. This is like a small traditional, and um, yeah, that's what it is. Um, I usually do um, like I'll put it on the stand. Like that one I have on a stand. Um, this stuff is awesome. I love this clay. Um, the reason I just had some trouble like getting it and like taking it apart from that is because I haven't used that piece in a long time. So, and I didn't soak it in warm water. Well, not soak it. I like dip it in warm water. Anyways, that's your nice salt block and. It's not very, this one isn't very nice, but um, that's just how to make a salt box for your briar. And yeah, it saves money and it looks realistic. And there, as you can see, there's br there's the brown. So it makes it look like pretty cool. And you can do details and touch ups and stuff. Um, and if you like this video, go ahead and comment and rate it. Um, five or four stars and um, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed and get a nice salt block out of this um, and congratulations if you did it already um, and thank you so this is Pasha Lover 3423 um, and this was, this was a tutorial on how to make a salt block and thank you bye